Well, hello, Blue Mobile Riders. And I'm just out for a casual ride today. It's uh, nearly the end of March. And there are a lot of uh, a lot of people out today, considering what's been going on around the planet. It's a sunny day, sunny Sunday. It's a peculiar situation though. It's like nothing I've ever witnessed in my life before. It's quite incredible to see what's been going on and, and all the different decisions governments are making. I'm going to move on from there and say how has it affected uh, motorcycling? Uh, less bikes out for sure, more people uh, social distancing, although what a great way to do it with a helmet on and uh, you know... Ah, there's one there, that's nice to see. It's a good way to keep yourself to yourself. You've also got the face guard on, and yet you're getting some uh, well, mental, mental goodness, I think. Just makes you feel good to do this. But what a great day to come out for a ride. Some mental wellness, as they say. It's beautiful. It's one of those sort of cloudy, sunny days. It's about 13, it says right now. It's still being quite cool for March. Yeah, things are a little behind. I have fruit trees and I'm especially interested in those. We have some of those, uh, my wife has some of those uh, special bees, mason bees, that's what they're called. That's good for us because in this cold weather, I need to get my apple trees pollinated because I make cider. I make all sorts of cider. I love cider. Uh, I don't sell it, not allowed to do that in Canada. You can in England, but you can't do it here. But I make hot cider, wild, I, everything's wild yeast, so I use the apple skins for the yeast. I don't put champagne yeast in it. Sometimes I make still, sometimes I make sparkling. And uh, yeah, I've got half and half this year. It's, it's really good. And my only concern is as those blossoms come out in the next two weeks or so, that those little bees that she's got, the mason bees, do their jobby because my trees are laden with apples usually and I'm just hoping that uh, it's just not a little too chilly still. Mind you, 14 degrees now, it shouldn't be too bad. This is perfectly doable, bees. Get your, get your fingers out. Yes, yeah, enough of the gardening talk. Back on the quacky and I'm really loving it. By the time you see this, you'll have seen that I've done the mod number two, which is the seat. And I'm really, really liking it. Uh, uh, you, I haven't actually, it's, I haven't released that one yet, it'll be released in a couple of days from now, uh, before this one, so by the time you hear this, I'll know what your reactions are to the seat, but my reactions are, I really like it, you know, uh, it's given the bike a nice bit of contrast, I think that was a Guzzi, got another one here, look at that, it's a Beamer I think, an old Beamer, everyone's out, and it just adds to it in a different way. It's the whole point of me getting this bike is I, I like to turn it into something that's mine, something that's a little more custom, something that's a little more uh, interesting. I think I'll go this way for a bit. I've got a few other ideas about things I'm going to add to it. I'd like to give a shout out to motostars.ca. I don't know if any Canadian motorcyclists know about them. But I only ran across them a few months ago and they sell a lot of stuff that uh, otherwise would be hard to get up here. I'm hoping to contact them again about those uh, particular type of mirrors that I think would really suit the 900 RS. Really suit it. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail but they're, they're not just a type of mirror. It's, it's the color of them and the metal they're made out of that I think really add something to them. I'm not going to go into, like I said, any more detail about that because I don't want to give the game away. But uh, I'm hoping that Motorstars uh, will, uh, being uh, based in Vancouver, not far from me at all, just a hop, skip and a jump across the water, will consider, you know, maybe allowing me to try a pair out. Uh, because, let's face it, this is up to nearly 6,000 views now, uh, just the ferry. I've had so many inquiries about it, so many people asking me and telling me they're going to get one because of it. The Lumamoto seat cover I did the review on, uh, it's a beautiful seat cover and it, it's absolutely smashing. But the process to get it on for me, 
was an absolute nightmare, as you've no doubt heard by now. And anyone who was around in the 70s who wants to get a black version of that, because it just, I think, looks more, looks more 70s. Yeah, I saw a video by Motorbob. Uh, it's an English vlogger. He always does a lot of good stuff. I saw a video by him on the Victory FTR 1200. And uh, it sounds like a nice bike. No, I lie. I lie. It wasn't. It was by Rarified Road. Sorry, Rarified Road. I, I uh, don't know if you ever watch me, but I, I watch you. You're great. And uh, he did uh, a great review on the flat track. It sounds like a really nice bike. My only problem with it was that the... Uh, tank and it's a fake tank which is great it's got the gas low down uh, underneath the seat which helps keep the weight low it's not a light bike it's about 430 kilograms sorry 230 kilograms so but you know it's light for a v-twin i think uh, especially on american iron uh, so it keeps the keeps the weight down there but the problem is is that tank is too small in my opinion aesthetically when you look at it the tank just looks too small i know that's the fashion peanut tanks and bobbers and all that flat trackers but just a slightly bigger tank on it i think would have made it look so much nicer and then uh, motor bob who i was talking about earlier sorry i uh, got it mixed up with rarefied road and motor bob did a review on the new honda cbr i think it's a thousand retro and he's gone gaga for that. I think Kawasaki was his favorite up until that one, and then he's really decided that's for him. But for me, it just looks too much like those horrible old Honda CB250 Super Dreams that I grew up with. Oh, I used to hate those bikes. They were so vanilla. They were sort of cookie mold, jelly mold looking bikes. They just, and I know a lot of people love them, but for me, the aesthetic of them wasn't very pleasing. And I just, I'm left cold by this soulless looking new Honda that's supposed to be a retro bike. Uh, and it, to me, it doesn't look like a retro bike. It looks like a, it's got a round headlight, but everything else on it looks like a, and it, I bet it's a stonking bike, stonking with a single sided swing arm and very gorgeous. Um, it's not out. It's just a, a celebration of their, of their bikes from the past. Whether they will ever go into production, I don't know. Good for you, sir. Thank you very much. Quite the wind blowing today. As you can see by that sign, look at that. Yeah, it's just one of those days where I feel like gimbling around at a nice pace. And this is a great bike for that. It, it, it is something that urges you to go fast, 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 but it's just as happy cruising along. I'm in sixth gear right now, toddling along at just over 3,000 RPM. I see a photo op. You don't get to see two prancing horses very often, do you? I think this is going to be a classic. I'll just get this up here. I mean, I could I could lie and say I'm outside Marinello or something, couldn't I? Why? I'd never do that. Don't want to uh, upset those horses. No, 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 sir. Beautiful. To blow the carbs out. It doesn't have any because I blew them out. <laughs> Where do I get them from? I don't know.
Oh, it kills you when you're stuck behind an SUV on a road like this. Yeah, delightful. What a lovely ride. Thanks for watching everyone. If this is the first time you've watched, please consider subscribing. I do product reviews, motorcycle reviews, off-road and on-road vlogs, as well as tours. Don't forget to follow me on social media, that's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, and to like, and especially, I'm begging you here folks, subscribe. This is the Blue Mopple Rider, out.